I just landed me ship in the Narragansett Bay in Rhode Island, and I'm ready to plunder and pillage all of the treasure it has to offer. I hear that there's a group of kids trying to save the bay with some sort of musical album, but I'm here to tell you that me and my pirate crew will take this bay. Remember, if you want to help me, do not click the link below this video to donate to save the bay. You'll never save this bay from the pirates. R, are you ready, kids? This song, Roll the Old Chariot, is a sea shanty sung by sailors to keep the pace while working on the ships. There are many verses of this song. They say things like, we'd be alright if the wind was in our sails, and we'd be alright if we make it round the horn. Oh, we'd be alright if the wind was in our sails, oh, we'd be Many people have made their own words to this song. The versions we will sing today will tell you some ways to save the bay. album is a fundraiser for Save the Bay. Our class voted to support Save the Bay because we are caring about the environment and the ocean. We wanted to find a local organization that's caring for the environment around us. Save the Bay focuses on protecting the Narragansett Bay, which is super important to Rhode Island. We love all the activities that Save the Bay does throughout the year. We love that they have education programs for kids and other ways for kids to get involved. Plus, they are building a new aquarium. Jeff from Save the Bay Education Department came to our class and we got to learn all about things that they do to keep the bay healthy. And he answered a lot of our questions. Questions such as, Have you found a lot of plastic? If you have found like any injured animals and what do you do if you get in that situation? In your aquarium, will you have like a giant squid? or squids, maybe a colossal squid or an octopus? It's kind of a silly question, but since you said that 
um, you save to base been around for 50 years now. Are you 50 years old? We learned a lot and we are excited to do our part to keep Narragansett Bay healthy and accessible to all. This year, we have been thinking about all the ways we can help the environment with our music. This fall, we watched the movie Landfill Harmonic. It is a documentary about an orchestra in Paraguay where all the instruments are made of trash from a nearby landfill. This inspired us to make our own trash instruments. We would like to show you some of them. Each instrument you'll see includes at least one item that would have been thrown away or recycled. Hi, my name is Catherine, and I did a drum made out of a cardboard box. I added some details that I found at my house, and I did the sticks with a cube made out of um, wood, and at the bottom is a simple stick, and this is the sound, the sound it makes. Hi, my name is Joseph. Today I'm making recycled instruments today and today I made a guitar that is made out of a Converse box, toilet paper roll, tape, and rubber bands. I made a drum out of a, a bucket, tape, a bag, and rubber bands. I made maracas out of a spoon, tape, an e old Easter egg, and a flower. Hi, uh, this is my trash instrument. My dad was going to throw out this old tennis racket, and I found some wire and some pliers. This is what it sounds like. The pliers make it change the, so the sound when you pull on it and voice it. Hi, I'm Nathaniel, and this is my trash instrument. The items I use for it are plastic water bottles, an orange juice jug, and some duct tape. This is how it sounds. This is my trash instrument. It's a maraca. This water bottle would have been thrown away, and I put a little, right, a little bit of rice in it. This is the sound.
My name's Pirate Chicken. We're gonna be talking about how life is a being a, a pirate. Do you ever get seasick? <coughs> Never. <coughs> we always get seasick because of the water. <gasps> What happens if we fall to the boat? When you fall in the boat, well, you could sometimes get injured Ooh. or 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 you do not get injured. Ah. How does it feel when you push people overboard? It feels terrible. Now you're the next person to get pushed overboard. Let's go! Our next song is a Peruvian children's song called La Mar Estaba Serena. The words translate to the sea was calm. Just like in the apples and banana song, for every verse we will change all the vowels. We hope you will sing along with our recording. Let's practice the original words first. Repeat after me. La Mar Estaba Serena. Serena Estaba La Mar. One more time. La mar estaba serena. Serena estaba la mar. Now sing along, everyone. Oh, 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 oh,
reporting to you live, Save the Bay is one of the most greatest places to support the bays. Save the Bay has some important news about sharks and fish. Straight to you, Karen. Oh, I'm on. What's my script again? Sorry, I haven't had my fifth, my, my 100th cup of coffee. My bad. Here's my post-it. Okay. Save the Bay is talking about how sharks and fish all unite in different ways. I save the bay. Oh, those fishes are great, aren't they? But the sharks are better. No, I feel like the fishes are. You can eat them and the good pets. Sharks can kill, they, they help kill the population of so many fishes. Well, true, but it's better. No, yes. No, yes. So, both sharks and fish are both equally the same. They're just different in size and very different, but they all commune to help the bay. Save the Bay has so many more things that they do to help our bays in Providence, Rhode Island. You can check their website out. It's very great and interesting. Bye! We learned that just like CMW is building a new music center, Save the Bay is building a new aquarium. All the money we raise will go towards this new building and the sea creatures that will live there. Right now, our biggest fundraising event is for that aquarium that we're trying to build. They'll probably have um, projects and things that we could dedicate. Um, the money that you raise could go towards probably a certain exhibit that we put on. And then that way, if you come check out our aquarium, you could see kind of the exhibit that you helped to build. I think that would be a really cool thing. Please donate to Save the Bay. What a perfect day to be at the beach. Summer of 2020. Oh no, the beach, it's closed. Hey, don't do that. Summer of 2022. Time to clean up the beach.
So you want to help save the bay. But what do you do if you can't donate money right now or if you want to help it in other ways? Jeff from Save the Bay told us that one of the most fun ways to get involved is by visiting their aquarium in Newport. There are also many volunteer opportunities for Save the Bay. Around 4,000 people volunteer for, for them every year. You, you can do all kinds of things like clean up the shore and help out in their aquarium, restore habitats, and so much more. We hope you, you will consider donating to Save the Bay today or helping out in another way. Check out their websites to find out how you can help. Well, now to that shark that was spotted in Narragansett yesterday. That sighting, just the latest in Rhode Island in what has been an active season for sharks around here. When I said, you know, you were swimming and there was a shark out there waiting for you. <laughs> Dogfish shark, cat shark. I, I, I would freak out probably. Cat and dog types of sharks. sharks in this bay. Now I want to save the bay too. Where's that link again? R, give all your doubloons to save the bay. R, let's save the bay together.
Don't look at me. Rude.